Well, I said yesterday that the workshop is always changing and I think it really is. I turned off most of my uh, recording lights because I wanted you to be able to see this shelf that I found today. I love this thing. I don't know what was in that. Does anybody know what uh, is shipped or packaged in this type of container? There was uh, what looked like an embossed uh, emblem on the outside, but it's so faint and worn down I couldn't read it. Anyway, I love this. This is going to hold so much for, you know, just different art supplies. But now what I'm going to do is put the camera overhead because I have something creepy and crazy to show you. This bag of stuff is so huge that it makes it feel like the camera is too close to the desk. The bag had been ripped open a couple of times and the store clerk told me that she had continued to tape it up and try to put it back together. And this doll here and this leg were just taped to the bag because the bag's been taped up a number of times. This is a lot of creepy baby dolls. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful. That's really old. What I've done is just move the bag and we will take out a few pieces at one time. Oh my goodness, that's got string around it. Uh, yeah, this is, this is definitely creepy. Not everybody likes creepy baby dolls, but like this baby doll is so beautiful. This is an F and B and F and B is really collectible. This baby doll has arms that are pretty much about to disintegrate. Her eyes are a little bit scary. You can see that there's one, there's one eye that seems a little bit off. A, B, C, and of course the arm is broken. Uh, oh, but I love this. It's like a composite. That's cracked in the back. Let's sit you right up here. I love her. Oh my goodness. And we have a variety of legs. Now these, honestly, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these. This I have plans for. This one's broken, obviously. But I have an idea for this. She is like totally overstuffed. Look at that. What in the world? It says Royal Collection 1997. I'm not sure why she's stuffed like that. I think this might go together, and that's creepy. That's just outright creepy. Uh, Mary, if you're seeing this, do you think this is creepy? Pretty creepy. So the legs are, they have, they've been stitched across to make them foldable. Uh, we're gonna put this on the floor over here by my desk just to get these things out of the way. Let's just start pulling out handfuls of stuff. Now that's pretty, uh, that's interesting. I do have a reason for buying these things and this poor baby has seen better days. There's a baby doll head. That's interesting. See, it, if that would stand up by itself, I do think we can do some cool things with these pieces. I did have a reason for buying this though. And I will be sharing that really soon. Oh my goodness, I love her. That's a complete baby doll. It says storybook dolls. These clothes are pretty much dry rotted. So I will have to make her something. And her hair has seen better days. But she, she is really sweet. Look at that little face. Yeah, she's really sweet. A lot of these I'm not going to keep. I mean, that's 2016. So I, a lot of these things I'm just going to get rid of. And why don't we make some decisions while, while we're, we've got the camera on. I'm just not interested in keeping the modern Barbies that are beyond help. Uh, that's beyond anything I want to do with. I particularly am interested in the parts that I can reuse. I'm not interested in these. Uh, I don't want a Barbie head. I really love the old, the vintage babies. So she has definitely seen better days. I think a child decided to color her face 
and she's got some sort of debris all in her hair. I wonder if essential oil would take that off at all. If it's glass, porcelain, essential oil will usually take off ink like that. If it's a really porous material, it won't do much because it's just settled in, but it does look like it might be lifting that ink. It would be really neat to clean this up, get it really, really clean, because there's nothing wrong with this baby except a child decided to color on it with probably a marker or something. So we will work on her later. I'm not interested in this. Good grief, what is this? Well, she's definitely been colored on too. Oh my goodness, she's amazing. That's another really old one. This is the kind of thing I'm looking for, for what I'm gonna be doing. Uh, here's another old one. I honestly like this type of doll better. This, this material that gets sort of uh, crazed and cracked. These remind me of the 50s, sort of the travel, like if you would travel and get souvenir dolls and Maybe then the Madame Alexander doll came along. I don't like those as much. Maybe we can clean up the complete good baby dolls that need to be cleaned and donate them in really good condition to a local store. Wow, look at the, I mean, the clothes are basically dry rotting off of these babies. Her arm. That's pretty creepy. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Okay, there's a lot of breakage in this bag and that's really too bad. Uh, I feel like, okay, so look, I'm gonna glue that into place because that'll help me with what I wanna do with this doll. Well, I have narrowed it down to what I'm keeping. I know this might seem creepy to many of you, but maybe you will appreciate uh, this creepiness uh, or the intent behind the creepiness a little more when I get this project underway. The other things that I'm keeping, I've got this pile of really creepy parts because I think when Halloween comes around or maybe for some other creative things that have to do with costume and that sort of thing, I think this could be useful. And then this doll I have a really specific purpose for that. Oh, I wanted to show you what I made. This is a pin cushion for the art desk. I did this in stages. I glued the piece onto the back of her head that was broken with super glue. I cut a piece of heavy paper to glue onto the bottom so that nothing could fall through. I stuffed the head with cotton balls and then I put a layer over that of this lightweight cotton. Now you might think that cotton balls would be good to put needles in, but they don't go in very easily. So I laid down two circles of fabric, another circle of this lightweight cotton, and then a circle of the dark fabric. In between those uh, second and third circles, I put coffee because it is easy for the needles to go through. And I just happened to notice this bag of vanilla scented coffee. And I thought it might be a good solution, something that the needles would go into easily. And, you know, I put this trim around. Any place that felt loose, like maybe, you know, the, the coffee might eventually work its way out. I just added a little bit of extra glue. I love this. I love the way this turned out. This is totally repurposing something that would have gone into the trash can. As for the other dolls, I just have these dolls sitting in the top shelf of the dollhouse right now. This baby doll is just sitting here with the journals for now. And this baby doll is just sitting over here. The random doll parts that were left over, they're just sitting in this suitcase that ends up with creepy Halloween, that kind of thing in it. And then these three baby dolls that are in good shape except for the ink, I'm gonna try to clean those up when I have time and donate them. But they definitely need a good cleaning up first. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back really soon. Bye for now.